<laughs> yeah, I lied. I'm sorry. Hi, everyone. My name's Waddles, and if you saw the end of the last episode, I said I was going to make new fancy farming uh, outside of this window, and you can see all of the farming that I set up down here. Uh, absolutely none. Sorry. Uh, I was busy preparing and thinking about going into the Aurora, which is what we're doing today. So, I have taken our 900 uh, meter depth module thing out of Sharon. She doesn't need that if uh, anything unfortunate happens to her because there's reapers by the Aurora. So I don't want uh, to lose something insanely, insanely uh, useful and vital. Uh, but we're going to just cruise right over to the Aurora and spend the whole episode in the wrecked ship today. Hopefully find some cool stuff. Hopefully understand the storyline. Whoops, that's not the right way. Uh, hopefully understand the storyline a little bit more and do all of that kind of stuff. Progress this along because we are in episode 14? 15? We're in episode something now. Now, believe it or not, Sharon and I had an argument before this episode. Yeah, Sharon the Seamoth, she talks uh, off camera, though. She always gets shy on camera, and she was trying to talk me out of going into the wreck because there's Reapers surrounding it, and she says the Reapers aren't good, and that she thinks that I'm just going to ditch her if there's a Reaper and uh, something like that, and I... I don't know what she's talking about. Uh, we just have to be really, really, really careful in here because um, there is Reapers around the wreck. They are kind of guarding the wreck and wondering what's up with the wreck and all that kind of stuff. I've heard um, really early on when I was playing the game, way back before its official release, I, I went exploring behind the wreck and found a bad, evil, red, angry, snake-looking thing, and it ate my sea moth. so... Yeah, I do know uh, firsthand that there is some reapers here. Now, I think the best way to get into the wreck, how I've seen everyone do it before, is snake along the front of the ship here. Stay really close inside of the wreck, uh, because hopefully uh, we're safe. Oh no, the camera's shaking. That's great. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, do we actually have to just land here? Was that literally it? Is that literally all I... <laughs> okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I thought there was... I thought it was going to be scary coming here. I... Um, okay. Uh, so, not that bad, I guess. Uh, the land is terribly overwhelmed with a lot of these crawling friends of ours, but I'm not in a friendly mood today. I don't want to hang out. Um, I think they're all dead. Uh, yeah, you didn't see a thing. You didn't see a thing at all. I'm friends with them. So, last episode we made our propulsion cannon. This is what will let us throw crates around so we can get into the wreck itself here. Uh, it's really, really cool. I wish it had more use in this game other than, you know, just kind of moving exit stuff around and oh no. Oh, oh, oh yes, oh yes, okay. I was gonna say, I forgot my fire extinguisher. You see, I was preparing in between episodes, uh, thinking about everything, pretty much making a list here on what I would need and uh, I thought about a fire extinguisher and I forgot it, I guess. Um, okay, so we're just gonna charge. Um, all right, so I went on stream a while ago and did this uh, exploration a little beforehand. So I do have a tiny bit of experience exploring this thing, but I do want to still poke around and see what we can find. There's lots and lots of boxes like that. Now, there's also lots and lots of um, keypads that'll uh, need a code. So we have to look for codes in here to get through. And the codes are in PDAs like that. So lab access, that is obviously um, gonna give us some access to this lab, but I need some help there. So what do we need? Um, right here, lab access, 6483. So much shaking going on. 6483, wait, what? What, I have just have six and three. 6483, I swear I pressed them the first time. Um, okay, open the door. Here we are in the science lab. Very cool. Um, lots of this decoration stuff. I don't think I need that. I'm gonna take every PDA here. Um, I should probably take all of that. Um, is there anything else in here? It doesn't look like it. We look clear. Yep, completely clear. Let's cut our way through here. Uh, I think we're okay on oxygen right now. Uh, we really should upgrade our tank, though. Look at me go. So far along in this series, in this game, and I'm still talking over the robot lady. I'm I'm sorry, ma'am. 
I didn't really mean to, but, uh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, there's some there's some air up there. Let's take that battery. Cool, cool. There's lots of batteries, lots of food, and lots of water in here. Uh, but what are we in? Whoa, am I? Oh, no. That's not good. Uh, how do I get down? Let me let me down, game. I didn't... Oh, we're in the ceiling. We're, we're, we are in the ceiling. Yeah, so believe it or not, I didn't want in the ceiling. Uh, I'm back here. I had to reload the game. Uh, black box data. Okay, so this looks like the control room, actually, of the ship or something. Um, that's kind of cool, but is this a dead end, or can we go anywhere? I'm really scared about going up here now. Uh, let me save. Uh-huh, right there, obviously, a door. Okay, um, it is, oh, time for this maze. So let's navigate through here. It's actually kind of really straightforward. Just look for the really big, big open windows here. It is a maze, though. Uh, I, I actually nailed it my first time on stream, too. Uh, right in here is the, oh, 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 the prawn suit fragment. So in case you're unfamiliar with this game, Prawn suit is another transportation. We have, you know, Sharon, and then we have uh, Prawn suit, and there's a giant submarine too, the Cyclops, uh, that I think we can find in here. Oh, hey, excuse me, I'm in here. Um, so we got two parts to it. Is there anything over here? I'm gonna be like overly paranoid and saving every two minutes now uh, after that glitch because I don't want to lose a bunch of progress. Um, oh, there's some up there. Is there anything under here? No. I want to look all over this thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, for PDAs. Uh, can I get it? There we go. Um, I want to find PDAs because that's how we progress the story of this game. And I'd love to kind of progress the story along, see what's going on, you know, with everything. Now, uh, a lot of inventory switching back and forth here. Let's go. Uh, propulsion cannon. Okay, and this is the last prawn suit part. Um, can I reach it from up here? Yes, we can. I knew I saw it. Here we go. Oh, boy. We're going to need to make a prawn suit next episode. Uh, it's set in stone now that we have it. Now, over here, um, there's more prawn suit stuff, it looks like. Uh, but I think that was the last part, right? Um, let me double check. Is there one? No, there's not one. Um, I'll have to check on the way out. Or I can check like this, actually. Yup, uh-huh, we're good on the prawn suit, we can make that. Okay, so let's go on into the living quarters. Cool, cool. So what do we got in here? Um, water, I will take. Oh, nutrient block, that's very useful. I will take all of those, and actually I will eat one right now. Thank you, thank you. There's loads of supplies all over the ship, because of course you have to remember that a crew of people lived here, basically, uh, and was, you know, traveling the galaxy, including myself. I'm part of that clue, clue? crew part of that crew here that lived and worked on this ship uh so let's get the fire out of this lounge looking area the fire is really annoying because it'll do a lot of damage to me if i don't get rid of it um like that it's just obnoxious uh what is okay it's good let's get rid of all of this fire and then of course switch to scanning mode and searching mode so that is me tearing around my scanner and saying can i scan you can I scan you? Um, nothing there needs it. Uh, PDA, I will take that. Lots of beer. Somebody had a party. Um, extinguisher. Yeah, I should probably take that. Mine's low. And a poster. We'll take the poster so we can decorate our base. What do we got going on here? Snap, blue, chicken, and pork. Uh, barbecue slice, beef. Wonder if I can order anything, or is that, uh, probably off the menu now? Because, you know, giant disaster, and everyone's dead, and, yeah, uh probably off the menu okay so what do we got we got more hall more hall which way do i want to go let's go to cabin one well do we want to go to cabin one or well let's go in here because we got to scan something uh but cabin one was locked i don't know if we have cabin one's password yet which is going to be the important thing but um what do we have we have a carry-all uh do i want to pick that up uh, yeah, I'll pick it up. Sure. Uh, poster. We're gonna take every single poster in here, or I'm gonna try to take every poster. Um, oh, it's a storage thing. Uh, yeah, I don't need to look in there. Do we have the code, though? All of the codes, in case you're playing along in the game, as in codes and clues in here. Um, captain's quarters and lab access, but we don't have room number one's code yet, so, uh, we'll have to look out for that. I'm sure it'll probably be somewhere in the, in the wreck, right? I, w I would think it would be. 
but this is captain's quarters. Okay, wow. Um, I wonder if we entered in the right spot, uh, now that I think about it. Uh, lab access, captain's quarters. Two, six, seven, nine. Two, six, seven, nine. Boom. Uh, I heard the unlock. What is in it? Um... Oh, oh, I like... Can I take the poster? Does it like... Yes, I can take the Aurora poster. Uh-oh, am I stuck on something? No. Uh, PDA, uh, Captain's Log. Okay, that's probably going to be storyline stuff. We'll take a look at that after the ship, of course. Um, what do we got? Uh, nutrient block, cool. Um, take that, of course. Whoa! Ooh! <gasps> Escape pod! Uh-huh, that looks like that's going to be the way out of here. Um, and, and scan... Oh, wall shelves. Okay, sure, I'll take it. And then look at that little statue. Of course I will take the statue. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, that looks like just about it here. Um, so got to keep our eyes out for cabin one. Continue on down the hall this way. Um, take the item. Of course, we're going to take everything. PDA. Um, I'll check in the codes every so often just to see. Moving on down the hall, we have a pile of fire in front of a closed door. So not worried about it at all. Um, but we have another room. There's a poster right there. I know a poster when I see one. There's a battery. Um, what else do we have? We have a health pack that I should take. Um, I can't walk very well in here. And that's it for down there. So let's clear this fire out the best that we can, which was that. Um, and then uh, let's drop that one and put this one there uh, and continue to fight the fire. Maybe we have something in here. Um, yes, there's another PDA. Is this going to be the to room one, please? Uh, I'll have to check. Uh, bunches of batteries, though. I will keep taking all of the batteries, even though I don't really need them. Um, and I'm going to keep taking water, too, because water is always good to have. But, uh, do we have room number one yet? Um, in here? Uh, no. Okay, so I couldn't find anything on room number one in any of the PDAs or anything that we found, so we'll repair this door and carry on, and we'll just keep it in mind. So, locker room. Here we go. Um fire i'm just gonna walk past all the fire that i don't need to do i want to preserve the extinguishers because i don't know how much uh we really will need them you know i would hate to come across something that i needed an extinguisher for and a radio call of course because always radio another pda sweet offer cool batteries and not too much oh, oh another pda in here um not too much else in here However, in sweet offer, there was the code to the cabin number one. So we're marching back now. Go check out cabin number one. It's a, it's a back and forth mission. You know what? Look at that in this little thing here. Right there, storage module. What that is is an upgrade for a ship. So good thing I took a look at this on my way back. Uh, I would have missed that. That's very useful. Eight. 1969 is the code. There we go. Boom. Open the door. Uh, huh. Our room. Uh, PDA. Uh, okay, cool. I'll read that later. Uh, a hat. I'll take the hat. What do we got? A health kit. Uh, water. Another carry-all. Another first aid kit. Uh, arcade garage toy. Okay, uh, I'll take it. Um, I guess we'll do a health pack and we'll... Um, I guess just take that for now. I hope I don't find too much more things. So, continuing back through the locker rooms, cutting through the door that was in there, uh, we have another hallway. Now, um, what is this hall? Um, okay. Oh, that's not a friend, is it? Nope, that's a bleeder. Let's scan him. Uh, I've been trying to scan everything. Off camera, I did go and scan things. That's... Oh, that's definitely not good. Uh, he wasn't happy about being killed either. Um, but we don't have much more room for items, so I'm going to have to just open crates and not really take anything. Let's repair this and go in here, though. Um, I don't think we should go up in this ship yet. We're going to stay on um, the same level that we're on, so we'll go down that hall to the dive room, I think, next, but... What do we got here? What room is this? This is the Seamoth Bay. Oh, oh, there's an upgrade right there. Uh, depth module. I mean, I have it, but 
you know what I could do is I could take a battery, say, how much do we have in here? We have 46. We'll take this battery, we'll put a new battery in it, right? And we'll, we'll drop the old battery, and we'll take that. Then we'll take the PDA. It wanted me to scan something in here. What was it that needed scanning? Um, was it just that Seamoth fragment? I don't want a Seamoth fragment. I already have the Seamoth. Um, Seamoth fragment. It's all Seamoth parts in here. I mean, that makes sense. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to scan any of that because I don't need it and I don't have the room for it. On to the dive bay here. If you're using this video for a bit of a guide. Um, okay. Oh, this is the engine room. Uh-huh. There's another upgrade. What do we have here? Uh, Cyclops engine efficiency module. I will, of course, take that. Um... But, I think I have to scan, or not scan, but repair everything in here. So, what I'll do is I'll repair everything with the, uh, not the laser cutter, with the repair tool, of course. I'll repair everything in here, and then we'll come back, switch the battery out, you know, so we drain this battery. Um, oh, there's ten. Okay. Okay, so, we'll drain the battery out, you know, and then take this thing. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if there's anything in that, um, little thing. Uh, can we see? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Uh, but are all of the other things underwater? It looks like they, they probably are. Uh, let's fix. So here we go. Oh. No. Get out of here, dude. Oh my gosh. That's scary. Why is that so scary? He's so small. Oh, that scared me. Okay. Um, healed. So, we need to get out of the water. How do I... Okay, ladder's over there. Let's go grab... Uh, okay, um... So, now we need to do the battery thing. So, if I just uh, take a brand new battery, throw it in there. We'll drop this battery because it's kind of drained a little bit. And we'll take that. Okay, so that's good. This is a dead-end room, though. Nothing to do in there. New music. That's cool. But I wonder what that really did for us. Did that just kind of seal the radiation and and it's good? I guess we'll find out a little later on. In the, oh, no, another one. Oh, my gosh, these things. They're like leeches. Um, but I guess we'll find out a little later on in the game uh, if that was something that we needed to do or, or what. I'm sure it was. You know, you don't just crash your ship on a planet or get shot down and and then just, you know, kind of kind of leave it leaking radiation. New blueprint. What? What? Okay, I don't know what it's talking about. New blueprint. Um, I didn't do anything, but, uh, okay. We're in another room. Another PDA. What do we got here? Uh, oh! Cyclops engine fragment. Oh, we need that. Um, we need one more. Is there one more in this whole room? Um, I'm gonna have to look in every single corner in here. I hope there's one more. We need literally one more piece and then we, I think we would have the Cyclops. Uh, wow. Uh, none in that whole room. No more engine pieces. That's a bummer. Um, but what is this though? Uh, arrow with a, with a, huh? Mm -hmm. With a, with a what? Um, oh, okay. Uh, that was weird. Uh, why was it like that? Um, that I was weird. Anyways, uh, carrying on in the thing here. Am I underwater or am I not? I'm like walking. Um, I feel like I should save. Oh. Okay. Um, so we need this to get out. Is this out though? Did I just go through the whole ship? Uh, I'm bummed about the Cyclops thing, but I mean, it is what it is, you know. Um,. I must not be underground, or underwater, excuse me. Uh, battery, I'll take it. Propulsion cannon, I already have it. I already have that. Uh, PDA, I don't have that. Anything over here. Uh-huh, another room, another PDA, uh, another poster. Um, what do I not need? I guess I can heal up. We'll take the poster. Uh, we got this thing. Uh, we'll take it. Um, a battery do i i don't have room for the battery though i don't really need the battery anymore i can always come back uh but i think that's the whole ship i just cleared i think literally everything right because that's the exit so wow 
Okay, so uh, I think it's time to go back and get to safety for sure. It's safety time. Hopefully I can get out of here uh, in one piece without getting attacked. Where's my Seamoth? Where is my Seamoth? Where is Sharon? Oh no, where is she? Oh, well that's wonderful. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. I was being goofy, though. Sharon's down here, of course, you know, at the bottom of the ship. Uh, I don't remember marching up this far. Uh, maybe I did. Maybe maybe I marched up and, and went in somewhere. Um, that was weird. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely went in backwards. I definitely went through that whole thing backwards because it was just telling me about fire suppression and all of that business and, you know, stuff that it would tell you at the beginning. So I went through the whole thing backwards. But we are going to cruise out of here as fast as possible. I'm not going to look around and... I, I just don't want to find out if there's a reaper or not. We're cruising. We're going. We're going. We're going home. Uh, we're just going to speed away. <laughs> I don't want to have anything to do with that wreck. And oh, I just saw that floating life pod right there. We got a call about that like forever ago, I swear, on the radio. I, or at least I think we did. I mean, it's unmarked. But we should probably stop and check it. Um, Am I safe? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Uh, okay, let's see what's in here. Uh, what do we got? Hopefully not items to pick up. Uh, we have creature decoy. Okay. I mean, sure. Uh, first aid, yeah, I wish. I wish. Okay, let's continue on getting away. Creature decoy, though. That's kind of cool. wonder if that helps with reapers. What, what do you use it for, really? Um, because I wouldn't need to decoy a stalker, would I? <laughs> Just swim away. Oh boy, I keep running out of power at the base. I just had to run in it uh, and power the bioreactor because I can't get in and dock the Seamoth without the power, of course. So there we go. Sharon's back at home. Let's go ahead and for now throw um, this storage module in Sharon and then we'll get her depth thing back too. But that was a really successful trip, I would say. Got a lot of stuff. Uh, hopefully the story has progressed and... What was that? <laughs> um, but I hope that's all good. Uh, we'll have to find out what's going on next episode, though. This is the perfect ending spot for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you used this episode to follow along and explore the Aurora, let me know down below in the comments. My name is Waddles. I will see you next time. Go have a good day, everybody. Goodbye.